friends and welcome back to my channel. I have not done this in quite some time, but I was feeling simply inspired today because, as some of you may or may not know, um, I am like a major Dune fan. Um, Dune is like my favorite book of all time. Uh, I will admit that the way I found out about it originally was because one of my favorite musicians, Grimes, <laughs> And if you're interested in that, I also made another video a while ago about my uh, my love of Grimes. But anyway, she made a whole concept album um, like revolving around this book, this franchise. And I was purely intrigued, so I read it. Read the first one, read the second one, read the third one, read the fourth one, the fifth one. Didn't finish the sixth, uh, read all the prequels. And thus, I just fell into the Duneverse, and uh, I just love it. But the original Dune book is my favorite book. Um, still, that's just a classic. You can't go wrong. So anyway, today, on the 22nd of July, 2021, they released like the second official trailer for the new movie, starring uh, Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, Rachel Ferguson, Oscar Isaac, la di da di da um, So I thought I would just do a little reaction video because why not i've never done that it seems like it could be fun so anyway i'm here with my dune knowledge and here with uh, some brooklyn brewery ipa and i'm just gonna go check it out now a brief like intro to dune for those of you who don't like know about this story it's basically like how i describe it is it's like if game of thrones took place in a star wars universe it's like the best way I can describe it. Um, it kind of centers around this one household. So it's like in this future universe where there's different um, yeah, different households that have their different planets that they control and each sort of contributes in a different way to the, the empire, the, the imperium. And so yeah, it's these like feuding houses um, and basically there's this planet called Arrakis, uh, but the inhabitants of this planet, who are called Fremen, um, they call this planet Dune, because it's basically kind of like Tatooine in Star Wars, actually. It's basically a, just a big desert planet, and there's nothing there besides desert, <laughs> sand and rock. Uh, but uh, on this planet, they have this spice called Melange, and the spice is like the most important thing in the universe, um, because it's kind of like people, eat spice cakes, they drink it in their tea, it can prolong life, so like all the people in these royal families live to be super super old, like I think the emperor is like hundreds and hundreds of years old because they just consume so much spice. Um, it also can give like prescient ab abilities, so it can basically allow you to see the future, um, and basically it allows space travel in this universe, um, it just is like the most important thing in the galaxy. <laughs> so anyway, if anyone who's controlling this planet of Arrakis, they have control of the spice and so it becomes super um, influential and important in the economy of the galaxy. So now you have these like, feuding houses and they're all kind of competing for resources and there's just layers and layers of different strategies and storylines and I will say there are a lot of characters, it's quite dense, um, but the story touches on so many things. It's not just about like wars, you know what I mean? It's like, it goes into religion, it goes into environmentalism, um, into just so many different topics, and they're all balanced and woven together so beautifully. I just think it's the best story ever. So anyway, I'm gonna watch the trailer now, and we'll just see. I've actually, I must admit, I've already seen it, but I'm gonna watch it again, <laughs> and I get chills every time, so we'll just, we'll see if I still have the same reaction. The planet Arrakis is so beautiful when the sun is low. She's such a good Chani. What can I say? Rolling over the sands, you can see spice in the air. The outsiders ravage our lands in front of our eyes. Their cruelty to my people is all I've known. What's to become of our world? A boy! Duncan, can I trust you, son? Yes, always, you know that. 
I've been having dreams about a girl on a rackets. I don't know what it means. Dreams make good stories. Everything important happens when we're awake. Hey, you yeah. want some muscle? Maybe. No. Mm. I really don't know about Jason Moore and his gun play. I don't know what I want to say. There is no call oh, we do not answer. There is no faith that we betray. Smile, Gurney. I am smiling. The Emperor asks us to bring peace to Arrakis. How's mm -hmm. the Trades accept? We're very righteous, the Trades. I am here. The still says? There's something waking in my mind. To face your fears. Come with me. We need to be ready. We never met Arcanists before. They're not human, they're brutal. Do you son of a too much? This is why I do kill them all. The Baron is so well cast. The Pirate of Rings. God in heaven. Off the ground, go! This is an extermination. They're taking my family off one by one. Let's fight like demons. I just am so excited. I feel like mostly it's very well cast. I like love Zendaya as Chani, love Timothee as Paul. I think even the Duke and Lady Jessica, like perfect, perfect, perfect. I just, I really just don't know about Jason Momoa as Duncan. Like I know they wanted to get big names, but like, I don't know. Based on how they describe it in the book, basically someone who looks more like Paul actually, more like Timothee Chalamet would be Duncan. But that's neither here nor there. I know they needed someone who's like a big, strong warrior type person. Anyway, this is so cool because this is the first chance we get to see kind of more of the like Harkonnen side. Um, we get to see the Sardaukar. So basically, uh, how do I even begin to explain this? Basically, the um, because the Harkonnen family had control of this planet before the Atreides. And this was all like, I don't want to get into it. I don't want to give anything away. But basically, there's just like whole, it's a whole plot that was cooked up. and. It involves the Emperor, which is, he's a part of House Carino, so it's basically these houses plotting against each other and like working together to go behind the other's back. And anyway, the Sardaukar are like the Imperial troops, like the Imperial army. And they're like trained since infancy. They're like super, super dangerous and ruthless and um, savage. And so, yeah, at a certain point in the story, they come in there and we got to see them in this one. Um, I'm trying to think of other things. I'm honestly super excited. It looks so well produced. I don't know, my qualms are very minor. Like the color, for example, like each house has their colors and the Atreides, their symbol is a hawk, which we do see um, often in this trailer. Um, but their colors are red and green, which don't seem to be at all present. Um, I guess they kind of seem like they have a gray color scheme going on. In total, overall, this film seems to be very, like sticking to a sort of monochromatic tones. Like, kind of maybe some browns, grays, white and black. Um, and I did actually read a lot about Denis Villeneuve's uh, style and apparently that kind of goes hand in hand with how he likes to portray his vision, which is fine, no qualms, just a small comment. And um, this is the first time also we got to see, we briefly got to see the Baron in the first trailer, but here we really did get to see him and how he's like floating up. It's kind of this, um, like in the book he's, <laughs> 
extremely obese, which is not funny. It's actually because of like a very um, specific reason that actually has nothing to do with him. He just doesn't know it. It was this whole subplot scheme, whatever. That's another thing to get into. But so he has to wear these like suspensor belts around himself so that he can like walk because basically his he's like too big. His legs cannot um, carry him. <laughs> so anyway, in this one really got to see him like using these suspensors. And we got to see Planer de Vries for the first time, who was like the Baron's kind of like right-hand man. Like he, I forget his official title, but anyway, he's just like always there and is kind of executing the Baron's will for him. I think it's also super well cast. We also get to see Dr. Yua. I don't remember if we saw him in the first trailer, but he's also a critical player. Another minor aesthetic thing, he's supposed to have very long hair and a long, long beard. But again, that's that can be overlooked. It can be overlooked. I'm not gonna pass judgment on that. Um, he does have the star tattoo, or the, the diamond tattoo on his forehead, which is like, he's a souk doctor, so that's basically this like super, super, um, uh, super, super like honest, well-trained uh, type of medical doctor in this universe. And so each of the um, royal houses or whatever has a souk doctor usually in their employ. And they're usually thought to be super um, loyal and very honest because to be dishonest or to be, um, sketchy really in any way or to do any harm to humans would be like against their training against their um their oaths and they also are trained from a very young age in this book or in this universe kind of each profession is usually trained from like a very young age but because they spend um so many years in their training and it's so in depth they all acquire like what we would what we would sort of consider to be non-human or superhuman abilities because of these trainings um there's also like mentats ben Gesserits, um Anyway, if you want to know more, you'll just have to read it, or I'll have, I guess you'll have to watch the movie. But I also did read that this, um, there, he's making two movies, so the, the, the single book of Dune is going to be split into like a part one and a part two. Um, so this is just for part one. But I will say that I'm a bit surprised because I do see like a lot of battle scenes in this trailer. Uh, not just like small battles, but a lot of like big battle scenes, which uh, from what I remember from the book, um, come like toward the end, like way towards the end. So I don't know, I'm very intrigued to see how they, how they split it up, how this movie will end, if kind of this, I don't know, there's like a defining moment. I don't know, I'm just excited to see how it goes and I think it'll be very, very well made, it's clear from the trailers already, and it's clear from Denis Villeneuve's other work and the actors in their own right that it will be just an extremely well done film um, so far from what I can hear from the soundtrack. Actually, wait, who is doing the soundtrack of the Dune movie? Oh, Hans Zimmer? Are you fucking kidding me? Hans Zimmer's doing the soundtrack? There's no way it's not gonna be good, sorry. <laughs> There's no way it's not gonna be good. I am so excited, I could just explode. I don't know how I'm gonna wait till October. It's inspiring me to read it again, so maybe I will. But anyway, that's enough, enough of this for the time being. Um, I wish you all a lovely day and night. I could not possibly encourage you enough to read Dune, and if you don't want to commit to that, because I will admit, it is a commitment, it is a large book. <laughs> Um, at the very least to go see the movie because um, from everything that I've read and seen about it, it is going to adhere very strongly to the original storyline um, in terms of the plot, in terms of the casting, in terms of the um, sort of like imagery and setting of it all. So anyway, with that, cheers and I will see you all in the next one.